Hey scholars, Professor Ginger and Axel are here to help remind you of rules and expectations when using your devices in class. Your device could be a computer, a Chromebook, or even a tablet. Let's talk about how we can care for our devices first. Come on, Ginger. When it's time to unplug your computer, don't yank it out by the cord. Instead, grab it by the end and gently pull it out of the outlet. Do not carry your computer with one hand by the screen. Instead, use two hands and make sure your computer is closed. When you're done using your computer, don't slam it down as hard as you can. Hey, Ginger. Instead, close the lid gently. See, it didn't even make a sound. All right, now let's play a game where the scholars have to decide what rule Ginger is not following. Let's go. All right, scholars, what's wrong with this picture? Yeah, Professor Ginger's water bottle is right next to her computer. And the cap is off. That's a recipe for disaster. In my class, when we're using our computers at our tables, we put our water bottles on the floor or on the counter by the sink. Make sure you're not drinking or using your water bottle next to your computer. Do you see the problem here? Look closely. Yeah, Ginger's eating while she's supposed to be using her computer. Nobody wants to use a sticky keyboard. Make sure you're not eating snacks while you're using your computer. All right, scholars, I need you to carefully put your computers away, then grab your math books and come join us on the carpet. All right, scholars, turn to page three. Ginger, why are you still at your seat with your computer? Put that away. Here we go, scholars. What poor choice is Ginger making here? Yeah, she's supposed to be on the carpet with her math book, yet there she is at her table, still with her computer. When your teacher asks you to put your computer away, you need to put it away right then and there. Don't make your teacher ask you again. Don't wait until you get to the next level of your game. Put your computer away when your teacher asks you to. Okay, scholars, I want you to open up your reading programs and get started. Axel, you've done a great job this week. You've made a lot of progress points. Keep up the good work. <coughs> All right, scholars, this is a pretty easy one. What poor choice is Ginger making here? Right, she's too loud. When the whole class is working on their computers independently, everyone needs to be able to hear the directions that the computer is giving. You can't hear the directions of your computer if someone is talking or barking too loud. Lips are quiet when you're working on your computers. All right, scholars, what's the problem here? Look closely. Yeah, do you see that? That's Axel's computer. You should only use your own computer. Do not share computers unless your teacher has given you permission. Do not do somebody else's computer work for them. Your hands should not touch another person's computer. Now, sometimes a classmate might need help with their computer if it's glitching or maybe it's frozen or maybe they just need help locating the program that you're working on. Make sure you have permission if you want to help a classmate with a computer question. Oh, and don't share your passwords with others. Ginger, go get your computer and put Axel's back. All right, scholars, while I'm working with my small group, I want you to work on your math programs on your computers. We'll give you about 15 minutes to work before we clean up and switch to the next activity. 
Ginger, I noticed on my computer here that you're not making any progress right now. Do you need some help? <gasps> Ginger, why are you shopping for tennis balls when you should be on your math program? All right, scholars. What's the problem here? Yeah, Ginger was shopping instead of going on her math program. You should only go to the site or program that your teacher has given you permission for at that time. Ginger's about to find out what might happen if you go to another site that your teacher did not give you permission for. All right, Ginger, you've lost your computer for the rest of today. Go put it away and grab your math workbook and work quietly at your desk. Then you can help us finish the video. Thanks, Professor Ginger. Thanks, Axel, for helping remind our students of classroom behaviors and expectations when using their devices in class. Way to go. By the way, don't play ball in class next to your computers. <laughs>